This is a pink loaf cake that I made when I was experimenting with natural food colorings. It came out really delicious, moist, and had a nice texture, but technically it was still a big failure. So let me show you how I made it and what went wrong. To make this simple, no frills pink loaf cake, I was using 250 grams of self-rising flour, 200 grams of caster sugar, five tablespoons of canola oil, half a cup of milk, two medium eggs, and two large beetroots or half a cup of ready-made beetroot juice. For this recipe, I've adjusted the traditional liquid ratio and replaced half of the milk required with beetroot juice to give the cake a lovely pink color. But unfortunately, as you will see in a minute, it did not work. So here's how to make it. Preheat the oven to 160 degrees Celsius or 320 degrees Fahrenheit. Using a juicer, juice the beetroots. Place the eggs, sugar, milk, and beetroot juice in the mixing bowl and give it a good mix till all the ingredients are well combined. Then add the self-rising flour and carefully mix it till combined. Don't overmix. Cover your loaf pan with parchment paper and pour the mixture into the pan. Place the pan in the middle of the oven and bake for about 50 minutes. To check if the cake has baked through, about at the 50 minute mark, use a toothpick, wooden stick, or a small knife and insert it into the center of your cake. If the stick comes out clean, then the cake is ready. But if there are pieces of raw batter stuck to the stick, then bake it another five to 10 minutes and then check it again. Once ready, remove the cake from the oven and let it cool down for 10 minutes before removing it from the pan. As you can see, the cake has a really lovely pink, almost reddish colored crust. Although the cake batter was quite red, I did expect the color to fade a little bit once baked. But to my surprise, once I had cut into the loaf, there was not even a trace of the beetroot left in it. And the cake had just regular classic yellow loaf cake texture to it. Although the cake turned out delicious, it had utterly failed in the color department. I later learned that the cake would have retained all the vibrant pinkish red color from the beetroot if only I had added a small dash of vitamin C to the mix. So follow the link in the description below this video for my full article about how to use vitamin C in baking and discover some of the other great benefits it has whenever you are baking cakes or bread. Check it out now.